So, what's it gonna be? Batman. Ant-Man 3, as Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, has been confirmed as the first movie of Phase 5 and now we've got a trailer previously only seen by those at Marvel's huge Comic-Con 2022 panel. Originally pushed back to July 2023, Ant-Man 3 then swapped places with the Marvels and will land in cinemas in February 2023. Filming has all wrapped up and with that release date shift, Marvel must be confident it's ready to roll. Evangeline Lilly certainly has high hopes for the third movie. I was so stoked on the script, she enthused. I actually think it has the chance to be the best one we've done yet. With those high expectations, here's what we know so far about Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. A trailer was shown for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania at Comic-Con, and now it's finally here for the public. You can watch it above, or check it out again here, as mentioned before, after a few shifts in its release date. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania will be released in cinemas on February 17, 2023. Filming took place from July to November 2021 and talking to Digital Spy, Lily revealed revealed that due to all the restrictions, it was the toughest shoot yet. There were just circumstances and logistics and the state of the world, you know, everything made the shoot the hardest out of any of the ones that we've made so far, she recalled. Obviously, Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly are back as Scott Lang, as Ant-Man, and Hope Van Dyne, as the Wasp. They'll be joined by fellow returning cast members Michael Douglas and Michelle Pfeiffer as Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne, respectively. Scott's daughter Cassie Lang is also back but won't be played by Avengers and Games Emma Fuhrman. Instead, Big Little Lies and the Society star Catherine Newton will take over the role of Cassie Lang for the third movie. Comic book fans will know Cassie becomes a superhero herself in the form of stature, and Newton appeared to confirm that the MCU's version of Cassie will have a superheroic future in store. I'm going to do my best to be the best superhero of all time, she teased. Fuhrman doesn't appear to hold any grudges at her in-game role being recast for the third Ant-Man movie, as she thanked fans for their kind messages after the news was confirmed in December 2020. Newton won't be the only new cast member as it's also been confirmed that Lovecraft Country's Jonathan Majors will be playing Kang the Conqueror. After his involvement was first rumored in September 2020, now confirmed as the big bad of the multiverse saga. How does he who remains connect to the threequel? We've got you covered here. And if you're still confused, Majors has confirmed that the two characters are different. He who Remains is not an Ant-Man. It's Kang. The only other confirmed cast member we know for the threequel is Bill Murray, but all we know about his character is that he's a villain. Talking of villains, the exclusive Comic-Con trailer revealed that Modoc will be in the new movie, but we can't see him in the one released now. It could be an attempt on Marvel's part to bury the lead or feed Modoc in the next trailer, only time will tell. Randall Park reprised his Ant-Man and the Wasp role as Agent Jimmy Woo in WandaVision, but admitted he hadn't gotten the call for Ant-Man 3 as of February 2021 and he doesn't appear in the trailer. He did add that he would return if asked though. Director Peyton Reed also hasn't ruled out a potential return for Walter Goggins as villain Sonny Birch. There's always a chance. Talking of villains, we could be seeing Corey Stoll back as Darren Cross as Yellowjacket. Despite his supposed death in the first movie, Lily tagged a photo of the script in May 2021 with Stoll's name, alongside confirmed cast members. It could just be wishful thinking. But Marvel fans also think Skits Creek star Dan Levy has joined the MCU too as he was spotted in London with Rudd in August 2021. Levy seemed to rule out a cameo, but he would say that. Following the Comic-Con panel, Marvel released the first synopsis for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania, superhero partners Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne return to continue their adventures as Ant-Man and the Wasp, together with Hope's parents Hank Pym and Janet Van Dyne. The family finds themselves exploring the quantum realm, interacting with strange new creatures and embarking on an adventure that will push them beyond the limits of what they thought was possible. There was an Easter egg pointing to the arrival of Kang and Ant-Man, and the Wasp when Chronopolis, the city he reigns over in the comics, was spotted in the quantum realm, which is where we see him in the trailer. As we mentioned above about Cassie Lang, she seemingly got a bigger role in the threequel and it could be we see the origin of Cassie becoming Stature, one of the founding members of the Young Avengers. We don't really know too much about what else to expect in the third movie, other than the fact that Scott and Hope will continue to be joint leads, like in the sequel. They're a partnership, and she's a very, very important part of that," Reed explained. And that was a very gratifying thing. I guess technically we were the first Marvel movie with a female hero in the title of the movie. Maybe we'll finally get an answer to what happened to those missing Pym particles from the first movie too, and what happened to Ghost after the events of the sequel. Get you home. 
and give you more time. If you've helped me, 